Okay, uh, let's look at uh, section 1.2. All right, let's talk about the uh, Cartesian coordinate system. All right, uh, Cartesian coordinate system is just a fancy word for um, uh, x, y plane. So I'll probably write it as uh, x, y plane. All right. All right, then uh, we have we need uh, two axes. Uh, the horizontal one is called the x-axis. So x-axis. All right, and uh, the vertical one is called the y-axis. Uh, so here is a y-axis. And it's usually easy to tell because it's usually labeled, uh, you know, uh, x for x-axis and a full y for y-axis. And uh, the intersection is called the origin, so usually put a zero there. All right. So this guy is called the uh, this point right here. It's called the origin. All right, so the, these two axes divide the entire plane into four separate sections, and these are called the quadrant. Uh, so uh, this guy, so this guy is called the first quadrant. So I'll just put one here. All right, called the first first quadrant. All right. And uh, this one is called the second quadrant, so I'll just put two there, right? So we go counterclockwise, and uh, here this is called the third quadrant, and this guy is the fourth quadrant, all right? Then uh, we can use uh, coordinates to uh, uh, describe the location of the point. So, for example, if you have a point like right here, say this guy has a coordinate, say, 2 on the x-axis, and if you go to the y here, let's say this is around, say, 3, or something like that, say, yeah, 1, right, 3, and 2 there, All right? So this point will have a coordinate 2, comma three All right and the first number is the basically the reading from the x-axis right this guy is called the x coordinate All right and the second number uh, it's the reading from the y-axis is called of course uh, y coordinate Right? So these are just the terminology. So uh, if you want to locate a point, we just have to indicate the x coordinate and uh, a y coordinate. So these two a pair of numbers will uh, specify the location of a point. All right, and uh, another topic is a uh, linear equation in two variables. Right? Uh, there's uh, something called standard form. And the standard form is written as uh, a, which is just uh, some constant, x plus uh, by is equal to c. All right. The reason why it's called a linear equation is that if you sketch the graph of this equation, it's going to be a straight line. All right. So let's look at an example here. All right. So just a concrete example. 3x minus 3y, or actually 8x minus 3y is equal to 24. All right. Um, there are a bunch of ways to uh, sketch the graph of this, uh, the graph of this equation. Uh, I'll try to uh, locate two points, especially x-intercepts and uh, y-intercept. Right. So as you remember, uh, let's see. When you try to find, for example, uh, x-intercept. All right, x uh, int uh, for intercept. All right, what you do is uh, you set y equal to zero. All right, 
right which means that uh, so we put 0 here so this second term is gone so you basically have 8x equals 24 so 8x equals 24 right then we can find the x value we just have to isolate x by divide through by 8 right 8x divided by 8 is x which is uh, what we wanted right 24 divided by 8 is 3 right so x intercept is 3 right which means that uh, it's going to go through uh, 1 2 3 right here right so I'll place a dot there all right so if you want to find the y intercept that we do the same thing except that we're going to set the x equal to zero right so if you want to find the y intercept right we set x equal to zero right which is going to be right so since x is zero 8x is gone so you have a negative 3y is equal to 24 right then we can isolate y by divide through by negative 3 right so negative 3y divided by negative 3 is y which is what we wanted right 24 divided by negative 3 is negative 8 right so y intercept is negative 8 so which means that uh, it's going to go through negative 8 uh, on the y-axis so it's going to be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right so this is negative 8 right here so I'll place a dot there so that we know that it's going to go through there right then since this is a linear equation the graph of this equation is going to be a straight line so we just have to draw a line through these two intercepts right so we're going to have a graph which looks kind of like that all right I'll try to make sure to go through both points all right so this is the straight line like that all right so this is the graph of uh, 8x minus 3y equals 24 all right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.